Hello. Today we're talking about version 2 of SynthCam. So the biggest new feature in SynthCam is multi-point focusing and the ability to make tilt chip photographs. So let's get right to it and we're going to focus on the back of this old van. If we use only a single focus point and we move the phone in the usual way, we can probably get that one point in focus, but probably not the whole back of the van. And indeed, the license plate is blurred out. So let's instead go to two, three, four focus points. We'll move them over good features to track, like the top of the rear window and maybe the tail lights here. And now let's try it again. So that one wasn't over a good feature. Let's see if we can uh, optimize that a little bit. All right. Now we're tracking again. and. What it should do is it should get all of the back of the van in good focus. So we'll stop after a while. And sure enough, we've got the whole back of the van, and you can even read the license plate. Here's a more careful example of focusing on the back of a car. It's only VGA resolution, but you can see that the hatchback is sharp and the background is blurry. It's not my car, so I blurred out the license plate. For each kind of scene, we should choose the minimum number of focus points we can get away with. For the stop sign, let's choose two. And we'll move them both together. And we'll place the top point over the word stop and the bottom one at the bottom of the sign post. And now let's try focusing. This time, let's move a lot. See if we can really blur out that background. And when we're done, Hit pause, and there, we've got the stop sign sharp and the background blurry. Here's perhaps a more dramatic example of two focusing points. I had one point near the top of the cactus flower and one down near the stem. Finally, for tilt shift, we'd like one line in focus and the rest out of focus so that it looks like a miniature model shot with a macro lens. We could use two focusing points, but I actually find that it works better with three. We place two of them along the line we'd like in focus, and the third one on a feature just off of that line. We then start recording, and instead of translating the phone, we rotate it, pitching and yawing it, not rolling it, while we record. After a while, press pause, and one line's in focus, everything else is out of focus. To get a good miniature model effect, you'd like to be fairly far from your subject and high up if possible. Here's a picture of the old quadrangle at Stanford University, shot from Hoover Tower. I used the same three-point technique, and as you can see, the effect here is pretty strong. 